we begin the preparations for tonight's court. Of course, Your Grace. suit you. Of course. I'm afraid the taster is downstairs. I can fetch them or I would be happy to, of course, your grace. Wait a moment to ensure that the wine is not tainted. Of course. Yesterday we had decided to prepare you for tonight's uh, court and events. Yes, of course. Has anything changed? Should I be aware of anything specifically you would like? Of course. We still have several hours before the guests will start to arrive at court. Same as usual, then. Of course. Um, I do believe enough time has spent. The wine is perfectly safe. Yes, I feel just fine, Your Grace. Your wine be right beside you. Just going to look and see. Going to move closer to you, of course. And is it all right if I touch? Thank you, Your Highness. So, tonight's festivities should be rather um, normal for our specific court. Though we do have some guests arriving it's from the surrounding areas as well as quite a distance away. I do know their names and can help you to recall their status and name so that this evening you prove to be quite knowledgeable. Alright, so, um, first I thought that I would start to wash your face while you enjoy that glass of wine. Is there anything else that I can get you, Your Grace? be, of course, people you recognise. Of course. <laughs> but there are a few new faces that have not visited our kingdom in quite some time. The water was heated, so this should be quite pleasant against your face. Of course. Um, please let me know if 
anything is not to your liking. And I may request some more or extended help if you so wish it. If you're happy with me or Grace, then I'm happy to be here. Alright, so I'm just going to wipe away your face, start to cleanse it slightly. Your family has been informed and is preparing their own preparations for this evening. Do you wish to fetch any of them? Perhaps later. mind me saying, your highness. You are a vision to begin with, so preparations for court will not take us very long. Of course. I do not believe I am knowledgeable in that right. Perhaps your parents could answer that. I have not heard any talk within the castle walls about any potential suitors for you, but of course. Right. I suppose some of your status that is a hit possibility. It will be quite a, a feast, if you will. Yes, the kitchen has been discussing it and working hard all day, so I imagine it will be quite the feast. Of course, if you are hungry now, we can have something brought up. Right. As long as the wine is to your liking. Lovely. Yes, of course, Your Grace, I will be there whole of tonight, if you need anything, I'll always be nearby. If, even if you uh, potentially need help with a discreet exit or a moment alone, I can of course assist you with that. the water. Hold on. Of course more can be boiled if you wish it. Do you intend to be quite 
delicate against your face. Do not only protect your skin, but to potentially help to ease any sort of tension or worry that you could be holding inside. I'm sorry if I speak out of turn, your highness. I do not intend to notice these things, but I have been by your side for several years now. Only wish you the best. A hint of delicate touch can cause you some comfort or ease before your evening at court. I will do my best to assist. you, your grace. Make sure that there is nothing else that we need to focus on before we move along. in a variety of manners. Previously we had uh, discussed the potential of a more neutral look for this evening's court, with just a light dusting of the powder yes, that we had received from yes, a few lands over. You did seem to be pleased with it the last time that we applied it to your face. Of course. Do you need any more? wine before we continue. Yes, I imagine that there will be drinking and celebration, food, dancing this evening, so of course, if you are done with your wine, move it away from you. Of course. differently, similar to before. It was quite beautiful before. Of course, as we continue, I can alter the application if you prefer it a different way. Thank you. I'm going to... This is the powder here. I know you had mentioned the scent last time. Is it alright? Alright. 
if you need to take a moment, please let me know. said that before. You're not exactly excited to find a suitor. Yes, of course. I remember lots of your words that you share with me. Of course, always kept in confidence. The conversations that we have, your grace, stay and remain between myself and you. honour and compliment your grace that you would trust me with such knowledge. Without speaking out of turn, you've always been so kind to me. I wish to only help and care for you. the application. The brush is rather smooth. Soothing even. Right. Do you even out all of the court has been using it. I hear the princesses, princes, duke, duchess, lord and lady. And believe several of the kings and queens have found their way to this new form of beauty. It does seem to be quite popular. Right. Do you need a moment? Of course. Is there anything that I can retrieve for you? discussed your hair yet. I can retrieve another one of the ladies to help us with something more intricate or perhaps something simple. Lovely. Well, as I said, your grace, you don't need the extravagance. You have the natural beauty and everyone within the court will see that. Going to continue with application on your face if that's all right. Good. There we are. to do a form of braid, your grace. Um, I would suggest something a 
little more intricate to show your class of course um, my twist braids for instance are quite beneath something I would suggest you to wear yes, well I may be your lady but you of course your highness need to show a bit more level of course but I understand that you would rather it be more simple Whichever you prefer. is to your liking. I believe we can move on. If I may suggest your grace, you are partially ready for this evening's court within your attire. Before we brush back your hair to that simple style that you have requested of me, Perhaps we should locate and select your jacket or cloak that you would like to wear. This part of the festivities will be taking place outside. Yes, I'm afraid the sun is quite bright in the day, but as the stars shine, it is rather cold outside. Of course. Is there a specific cloak that you would like to wear? I will retrieve it. Is this the one, Your Highness? The one that you would prefer to wear this evening? It is black in colour, which will contrast against the rest of your attire, but it does have the family crest along the back of the cloak. Yes, I know that you would sometimes prefer to distance yourself from your family, but in such cases, um, your parents have requested the crest. I'm sorry, Your Grace. <laughs> right. Look at it this way. You will only be wearing the cloak for a small portion of the evening's festivities once you move inside to the dancing, the feast, the fun. I will be right by your side to remove it. So, since that is all set, I'm just going to tie and button the cloak around you. going but it is a little cold in here so you should be just fine in the preparations with the cloak on I'm just going to lean a little closer to you I'm sorry your grace and make shirts to your liking of course how does that feel around and button along. I'm just going to step a little closer to you to make sure it's the correct fit. 
precise and feel. It's the texture, the material, all right, Your Grace. Of course. thing. I think you set yourself apart from the others, of course, not just within your family, within the various families surrounding lands and kingdoms, of course. And I know that there are a great deal of men and women gathering this evening, but I do hope remember that your uniqueness is a quality trait, Your Highness. I'm sorry again if I've spoken out of turn. <laughs> yes, you've told me I needn't not apologise, but of course, Your Grace, I'm going to move closer to you just to brush back your hair slightly so that everyone may see lovely face. rather tired. God knows how long you'll be up this evening. <laughs> the quartz parties are quite the reputation for lasting all evening. Even us ladies and staff have heard. on top of your head, just lean slightly above you. sure there is nothing else that should be swept away from your face. Make sure that the specific style that you had requested is what we have created for you this evening. And along the back, see here, this line bit there, for your grace. I believe that everything is prepared for you. Now before you retire with your family, I did want to of course go over those specific names that 
you and I believe your parents had suggested you remember for this evening. And as I've said before, I will be at your side, so if you do have any sort of questions, feel free to... Yes, I do have most of these memories. Don't mind here. Uh, I mean we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm afraid we have twelve names that your parents suggested, requested that you, for fact, know. Um, some of them may have a bit of a description if you do not recall what they look like. If not, then um, I should know by look, and I can <laughs> offer tips throughout the evening, Your Grace. But knowing the name is very important. Almost always, their lady or right, their right hand, will of course introduce them. Not only their introduction, but yours as well. So, the first name is... Lady Grace. Right, um, so I believe that she actually got this name. Um, you may recall some past stories from court. She got this name from being accidentally graceful. Yes, that is Lady Grace. She has attended our court before. Then we have Lady Amal. You, of course, would uh, most definitely recognise her. Uh, very long and dark hair. Mm. Right, I believe you would. Then we have Duchess Caitlin. Um, I know you have been introduced before. A, a lot of people within her own court, her own ladies, kind of associate her with kittens, if you will. It's a great deal in her home, her castle. Oh, yes, that's Duchess Caitlin. Also in attendance this evening is Prince Callum. A lot of people remember his bright blue eyes. Then we move on to Lady Rachel. Perhaps you will recall at the previous event, uh, the dress that she wore was, um, what is the proper word, crinkly. Yes, so Lady Rachel, um, has assured us, of course, once more, she will in fact be wearing another crinkly dress. She definitely loves her crinkles, that Lady Rachel. And then we have, we move on to Lord Fred. Uh, you would most definitely recognise his voice. Yes, Lord Fred's voice is very distinctive. A lot of people can hear it across the room, so I would imagine that you would recall it, Your Grace. Um, it looks as if this one must have arrived. No, she's not going to be in attendance, so you will not have to remember her name, but you've met on several occasions. Um, that would be Princess Maria. Right, no, she's not going to be attending tonight's court. Yes, of course, her firstborn. Right. Alright. Moving on to Lady GB. You'll call her. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. right. Um, 
the only other, well, um, higher royalty, you could say, besides your parents and you, of course, and your siblings. Yes, we do have one other queen arriving. Right. Um, I believe that this is her first time within our court. Yes, Queen of Serene, actually. I'm not familiar... I'm not familiar completely with um, her lady in waiting, but I can make myself available, of course, if you would like to. Right, make note of that. Three more for you, and then you will be ready. We have Duke River. Um, light hair. <laughs> You'd probably recognise him. Right. Yes, he's quite funny. Then we have a Lady Sophie Michelle. I think you've met her on a few occasions, Your Grace. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then more of a special guest that has come a few villages over at the quest of your parents. So we have the alchemist Andrew Michaels. Yes, his techniques are rather innovated, and your parents were interested in some of the ideas that he had regarding his study, his work. So, something new to bring to the castle, to bring to this specific court, if you will. So, if you would like to be introduced to uh, alchemist Andrew Michaels, I can, of course, set that in place as well. Although, most of these people are most definitely going to want to speak with you. Some of them have been to our court before, others are new. Whatever the case may be, they are going to want to speak with you. But as I said, if you need an escape or just a brief moment of silence, I can, of course, help you to pull away. So, I believe that is all um, that specifically your mother had requested that you remember. Um, some of these could potentially be suitors or um, a match, a royal match, um, depending on your preferences. Alright, so just a reminder, we had Lady Grace attending, Lady Amal, Duchess Caitlin, Prince Callum, Lady Rachel, Lord Fred. Uh, Princess Maria will not be in attendance, I'm afraid. Uh, Lady GB. Queen of Serene, Duke River, Lady Sophie Michelle, and the special guest alchemist Andrew Michaels. Is there anything else that you need me to recall for you, make note of any specific person you would like me to reach out to this evening that you would like to have a discussion with or I know that for a portion of the time you will be beside your parents or um, your siblings, but like I said, I'll always be lurking in the shadows for you if you do need anything from me. And hopefully you will have some time to yourself um, to enjoy the festivities so you're not so much work, work, work. I do understand that is the life of your bloodline, but... I do worry for you, Your Grace. I most definitely want you to be taken care of and at ease, so please try and enjoy yourself this evening. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Alright, I will be waiting just outside if you need anything, and uh, be prepared to gather you downstairs when the time is right, of course. Thank you so much, Your Highness. If you need anything, let me know.